Okay, let's see if this is going to work. Hey, folks, running a little bit late this morning. Sorry about that, but trying to get some some extra goodies going here this morning. Good morning, Joe. Good morning, Sarah, Aisha. You guys are fantastic. Thanks so much for being here. All right, so this week we've been talking about winning. In fact, I've got... Look, hashtags. <laughs> um, we've been talking about winning this week. Good morning, Catherine. And I did see your message. I started to reply. I was just ready to click the button. So this week we've been talking about winning. And today, if, if what we're doing is a game, right? If it's a competition, <clears throat> then necessarily there needs to be someone or something against whom we are competing. That's what I want to talk to you about this morning. Before I get into that, just a quick welcome and reminder to our friends listening in their favorite podcast catcher, iTunes, TuneIn, Stitcher. Maybe it's SoundCloud. Maybe it's YouTube. Wherever you happen to be catching the show, thank you so much for being here. If you will, when it is convenient for you, as soon as it is convenient for you, head over to 7minutesinthemorning.com, join the conversation there, leave a comment, even if the show's already over. I still read them. I still respond to them, even after we're done. Don't I? Anyone who's who's here can attest to that. Okay, here we go. Who are you competing against? Let's see if I can make the magic happen here. All right, so I'm I, I'm trying out something new. Bear with me. Here we go. Yes. graphics. <laughs> All right. So here's the idea. This is what I want to try and convey. Hopefully I can do this. Um, and, and it all kind of works out. If, if we are approaching something in our life, be it a business, a job, a project, doesn't matter, right? We start as the little guy over here on the left, Oh, look, I can even have a cursor. We start as the little guy over here on the left who has a lot of time out in front and has some difficulty um, ahead, right? Think about learning to ride a bike, learning to swim. When you were When you first started, it was difficult. You had to put effort into it. But as time progressed and you move along the timeline, it all of a sudden becomes the status quo, right? Those things uh, become easier for you. Oh, there it is. They become easier for you, sometimes to the point where they become boring. Now, I'm not going to say that knitting is boring or crocheting. I'm just using it as an example. Have you ever seen someone who could knit or crochet and carry on a conversation? They've mastered it, right? Now, there's greater reward further down the line. But but my point is, it's like riding a bike, right? Nothing special about riding a bike. Well, seven, eight years old, everything special about riding a bike. It was freedom. It was accomplishment. It was all these things. Now it's just pain. So, <laughs> so I don't as often. All right. So moving right along to the next slide here. Well, so what's the alternative? Right. If the status quo produces easy and boring, what's the alternative? Well, it's to stay in this challenging zone, right? The green zone here, which means you constantly have to be up in your skills. As time moves on, you have to continue to move up toward the more challenging. Now that I uh, failed to mention the red zone up there is the impossible. It's unmotivating because we believe it can't be done. Right. So why would I ever want to do that? And the boring down there, we don't really want to do that because uh, it's boring, right? So if we're looking for progress, we're looking for happy, we're looking for achievement, we need to be in this difficult or challenging or rewarding zone, all right? Those are the two alternatives. Here is where the competition comes into play. When you are considering who you're competing against day-to-day, -day, week to week, month to month, you're not competing against the other people that do what you do. You're competing against you and the other version of you that could exist if you just sit on your fanny all the time. 
I'll let that sink in for a second. I'll get another sip of coffee. It's tough. It's, I mentioned yesterday, I think. It's one of the reasons why I like golf as a game, because you're competing against yourself. Are there other people that do what you do? Sure. And if you spend all of your time focused on what they do and not what you're doing, what are you going to do? Right? Remember, where focus goes, where focus goes, energy flows. You get more of what you focus on. If I focus on what the competition is doing, what's going to happen to me? I'm going to do exactly what they do. Then I become a me too provider, a me too opportunity. And, I, and, and there's nothing special or unique about me. Instead of being the best in a market, which requires comparison to the others, be great at what you do. Do you want a doctor who's the best in town or the doctor who's great at what they do? I want the one that thinks they're great at what they do, personally. That's just me. You might have a difference of opinion. So the point I want to get across today is simply this. All right, You, you don't have to compete against anyone else to be great. You only have to compete against what could be you if you don't try. Trying, you know, getting started is the hardest part. Trying is the hardest part. To be great only requires a smidge more effort than being med mediocre. Now, it requires a smidge more effort day after day after day after day. If you're not willing to do that, you're not going to win anyway. I mean, I'm just going to put it out there for you. You have to show up and play the game every day if you're going to win. That's it. That's I mean, that's it. And the person that shows up the most wins the most. And the person that wins the most gets to do this. And, you know, achievement, accomplishment, I don't know, something like that. Got it? Get it? Got it? Good. That's the message for today. You are competing against yourself. Make today better than before. Think about it this way, better than yesterday. Think about it this way. If you make a 1% improvement today and you do that every day for three months and a week-ish, you'll have a 100% improvement. So you have the opportunity to 3x where you are right now. Well, just think about this for a second. You have the opportunity to be three times ahead of where you are right now if you just show up and commit to making a 1% improvement every day. That's it. That's all you got to do. Ah, it's Wednesday, so that's Coffee Shop Show Day. We will be at the coffee shop. I'll be there in about an hour. <laughs> We'll start the show at 9 o'clock. So if you want to join us, you can come back here. Tom Rigsby, the unashamed nonconformist. I'm not 100% sure whether the domain's working or not. I'll have to check that. If it is, it's thecoffeeshopshow.com. But you can always find us right here. And if you uh, click the like, click the follow, click the notification bell. If you're in, uh, if you're watching in YouTube, click the subscribe button, click on the notifications, ring that bell so that you get notified every time we go live, regardless of where it shows up. All right. If you can't make the coffee shop show, that's going to be too bad, but we'll be back here again in the morning with another brand new installment of talk, uh, talk radio for entrepreneurs. A brand another. <laughs> Another installment of seven minutes in the morning. <laughs> you guys have a great Wednesday. I'll see you tomorrow.